This study has to do with the logistics of how we give outpatient chemotherapy and how we educate our patients and families so they're very comfortable doing it. It provides concrete examples and guidelines that are very useful not only to the caregivers but also the medical teams providing for these patients if they want to emulate these best practices too. When a family comes in for the first time to discuss their chemotherapy regimen, we try to consider everything that's going on in their life, special family events, and also things like their location, how far they live from the hospital, and um, any other things that they have on their schedule that they would like to try to make a priority. We then make a chemotherapy calendar and come up with a treatment plan that works best for them, um, and this usually includes outpatient chemotherapy. What this means for the patient is that they are able to be at home with their family on special occasions and in a normal environment where they can really thrive during their chemotherapy. They're not always thinking about being sick. I often have patients who say they just put a pillow over their chemotherapy and they totally forget they're even getting it. They can play video games, spend time with their family, and it's just really an environment where they can get a good amount of rest and have a good support system while getting this treatment. After my first cycle, all my chemotherapy was done outpatient, which was something I, I really appreciated because it gave me the comfort of my own home. Uh, I noticed that my nausea and, and a lot of my mental state of mind was fixed by being at home rather than being in a hospital. The pump is really pretty small and lightweight, um, and it's very easy to use. If for whatever reason the patient should come across an issue like the pump is beeping or it is stopped overnight. There are phone numbers on the back of the pump where the patient can call someone from Gemstar, the company, and uh, get troubleshooting information regarding the pump. If that information is not satisfactory to the patient or if they still want to talk to someone from MD Anderson, we give the patient patient education materials de developed here at MD Anderson by the nurses in our pediatric clinic. I could basically move around and go anywhere with it. I can get my blood tests in Woodlands and I have a problem. I could, you know, go eat lunch with my family or something and not really have a problem. Um, it was very, it was very easy and portable as well. Very convenient. Basically it would run for seven days uh, non-stop and the only side effect at that point was fatigue and a loss of hunger, um, loss of appetite but mostly it was just fatigue, so it wasn't so difficult. Some of the benefits of doing chemotherapy as an outpatient compared to as an inpatient was not having to really see other sick people or not having to really see doctors and nurses all the time because again, it was all a mental state of mind. It was about um, feeling calm and, and, and not really nervous or anxious and what outpatient chemotherapy did as opposed to inpatient was it kind of secluded me and took me away from the hospital. Didn't, you know, I didn't have that state, state of mind that I was sick um, because I didn't see a doctor or a nurse every two or three minutes. So it, it, was, it was all a matter of comfort. So after we've written this, it really makes us realize that the future of chemotherapy for adolescents and young adults is in the clinic their medical home should be in the clinic with the same providers time after time. The, the main take-home message for us, this was much easier than we ever thought. Uh, not only is it safe, but it's effective and there is tremendous satisfaction by both the families and the caregivers in the clinic seeing lives changed in a very positive way.